After defeating Rob Cross in the semi-final at Ally Pally, Luke Littler easily advanced to his first PDC World Darts Championship final. Following the exciting match, his fiancée Eloise Milburn gave him a tight hug. The 16-year-old darts prodigy, dubbed The Nuke, overcame an early setback to become the youngest ever WDC finalist and secure a minimum £200,000 payday, Cross had won the opening set of the competition at Alexandra Palace in London. At the beginning of the game, Littler, the reigning junior and world youth champion, went out confidently, shaking hands with fans along the way. He even stopped to give 21-year-old Ms. Milburn, whom he met online while playing FIFA, a kiss on the cheek. He then overcame Cross's first set starter to win the second, third, and fourth sets in a row. Littler was unfazed and won the sixth, seventh, and eighth, while his 33-year-old competitor grabbed the fifth. In the best of 11 semifinal, it helped him win 6-2 and knocked out Cross, a competitor who was less than half his age. Littler, who is well known for eating a kebab to celebrate his wins, called becoming one of the top 32 seeded players in the world crazy. A double 10 to seal the victory sent Ally Pally into a frenzy of cheers. Cross was seen giving the young man from Warrington a round of applause before giving him a hug, a pat on the back, and congratulations on his victory. Littler remarked, I was happy winning one game, but I never thought I could go all the way, in a post-final statement. I'm at a loss for words. You're playing Rob, a world champion who also triumphed on his debut. Do it, and God bless, I respect you, were his words. Littler's narrative has been one of fantastical proportions. The Prince of the Palace, as he has already been called, created history in his opening round against Christian Kist by recording the greatest average ever for a world championship debutant. If he wins tomorrow, he will now be on pace to exceed some of his idols and become one of the uncharacteristically youthful sporting legends. When Phil Taylor won the first of his 16 world championships, he was 29 years old. 24 was Michael Van Gerwen's age, Van Barneveld, Raymond, 30. Eric Bristow, 22. Cross, who won at Ally Pally in 2018 at the age of 27, was known as Voltage in reference to his previous career as an electrician. He went on, It's bizarre. I've simply decided to go to that level, darts. I need a few tries to get into a game, but once I get into a groove, I'm set. I really want to get much higher and be content to be in the top 32. In response to the question of how he maintains his composure, he said, I just have to stay focused throughout the game, no matter how long it goes on. I'll proceed with my morning routine of eating my ham and cheese omelet in the final. I've been doing this every day. Come in, get my pizza, and then I'm on the board. My game is there if it is. Once again, I threw well and crossed the line. Tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m., Littler will face Luke Humphreys, the 6-0 winner against Scott Williams in the championship match. After the outcome on Sky Sports Darts, darts great Wayne Martle stated, he continues to perform beyond the highest level. If you were sitting at home and saw that, or if you're here, you've seen something completely astounding. A 16-year-old is competing in the world championship final. Dan Walker, a newsreader, called him Golden Darts after posting a video of the match on X, a defunct Twitter platform. Wolfie, the mascot of the Warrington Wolves rugby league team, was hugged when Littler entered the stage to greenlight by Pitbull, surrounded by thousands of well-wishers who were being quenched by 29 pounds four-pint pitchers of Amstel. He also planted a kiss on his mother Lisa, who appeared even more anxious than her son did when he called for commotion from the 3,500 people in attendance, which included nuns, lobsters, and crayons. Here, they answered with chants that they usually do, such as, you have school in the morning. However, Littler had defeated opponents with apparent ease. Thus, nothing phased him. Littler tied the match at one set when Cross had a chance to take the second set but missed the bullseye. Littler won the third set, 2-1, with a single throw at his go-to double 10. All of a sudden, the adolescent was leading this altercation. Cross made six flawless darts at 2-2 in the fourth set to give himself a 141 finish. However, this time there would be no nine darter. Rather, Littler used an 11 darter to take a 3-1 lead. Littler became frustrated when Cross made it 3-2.
Littler stays on the Ally Pally stage throughout the commercial breaks. In contrast to other actors, he continued to practice, and after Cross came back, he blasted into a 5-2 lead with an average of 105. As the audience chanted, there is only one Luke Littler, you had a sneaking suspicion that even Cross would find it difficult to rally after he took out 132 to begin the eighth set. Littler previously said to Sky Sports News that he was accepting his rise to popularity in his stride, Despite the fact that his life has already undergone significant change in recent weeks, James Madison, the midfielder, sent an invitation to him, and on New Year's Eve, he was seen at Tottenham Hotspur. When he began the competition, Littler had only 4,000 Instagram followers. Today, he has over 300,000. Regarding the coverage in the media tonight, he stated, I don't look at the horrible things, but there have been some nice things as well. You guys, the media, want to talk to me after every game I win. Although I really enjoy it, there is a bit too much of it. After Luke's triumph in the World Darts Championship, which made him a household celebrity, his girlfriend has been subjected to some online taunts regarding the couple's age difference. Luke, 16, has been dating Eloise for six weeks. Milburn's parents have expressed their outrage at internet trolls who make fun of their five-year age difference and call her a money grabber, even going so far as to say she can't even buy them seats to the games. There's been a lot of nasty stuff being written online about my daughter and my husband, Phil, and I am extremely upset about it, expressed Eloise's 56-year-old mother, Amanda Milburn, in a distressed statement. Eloise has faced numerous allegations, including that she is solely with Luke due to his wealth and notoriety but that is abhorrent and a complete load of lies. For all these reasons, she isn't with him. She is with him because she likes him. She is not interested in his wealth or notoriety. That is all there is to it. A buddy said, Luke and Eloise have a lot in common. They both enjoy playing FIFA and darts. From the moment they spoke on Xbox, everything simply flowed. They make a terrific couple because Luke is also really passionate about both of them. She's a great girl and a pretty decent darts and FIFA player. She is fully behind him and quite proud of his accomplishments. Apart from darts, Luke and Eloise have a strong passion for football. He supports Manchester United, whilst she supports Crystal Palace, whom she supported during their Wembley semi-final loss to Chelsea in April 2022. Videos of him throwing darts as a youngster and mimicking Raymond Van Barneveld's well-known celebration after winning his 2007 world title, have surfaced, proving that he was always destined to be a star. Few would have predicted that Littler, who was born 20 days after that historic encounter at the Circus Tavern with Phil Taylor, would defeat the Dutchman to advance to this year's tournament Final Four. However, he proved that his breakthrough was no accident with the way he destroyed his hero in the last 16 match. After a successful year on the development tour, he qualified for the tournament by winning the World Youth Championship in November, which was another significant indication that he was destined for greatness. He was an avid Manchester United fan growing up, but when his father Anthony saw his talent at the OSHA, he ordered his son to give up football when he was nine years old. And the rest is history. It is hard to see Littler, who also enjoys rugby league and plays for the local team Warrington, returning to the normal 16-year-old he was prior to the event. Regardless of what transpires over the next 24 hours, he will be entering a new world following his adventures in North London. He had fun FaceTiming, eating kebabs, and playing video games on his Xbox. His achievements have already made him a celebrity outside of the darts community. In addition to exchanging messages and photos with some elite Premier League players, the media has shown a great deal of interest in him and his preferred kebab varieties. Littler will obviously now be dining at the top table of darts, having secured a PDC tour card for the next two years, along with at least a £200,000 paycheck.